Hi everyone, my name's Lou Sims and I'm part of the Chow Bella Paper creative team. Now I've been playing again with the wonderful Enigma collection and this time to add to my um, bureau, my roller decks, I've made a little desk tidy. So I've made a triangular shape base, as you can see. It has a little drawer that can hide anything you want it to be in. I've got the wires at the top, so now I can flip all of my little pages around and you can have as many as you want to add on there. And at the back, I've got a pocket. Now the pocket is showing at the moment, but actually it's designed to be um, a secret pocket. But I'll show you what I mean. So each of these, I've got four on for the moment, but I could, um, I'm thinking more like a calendar where I could have 12 on and there could be one for every day of the month. So I've used lots of elements from the A4 pad and also the fussy cutting pad. And obviously I've taken my backgrounds from the um, background papers from the 12 by 12s. So we've got a little pocket, little secret pocket on the front here. Um, alternatively, I could put a photograph, I could put whatever. And we get these lovely little cards in the A4 um, creative collection. And because they're decorated on the black, I've got somewhere until I want to put a photograph or something like that. I don't have to worry about decorating those. And they're going to sit in my little pocket at the front there. Obviously, the page now turns over. And I've got another page here and I've left this blank. This could be for notes. It could be for whatever we wanted to do. I have decorated both sides, but I will show you the opposite side in the moment. These are elements, again, from the fussy cutting pad and then little bits that I had left over from the background papers um, that I didn't want to throw away. I've used the faintest little bit of stenciling um, with the new Chow Bella inks in the background just to make the papers look a little bit more aged. So this is the third page. Um, again, same sort of theme. I've got the decoration on the side. I've used some of the sentiments here just as my tabs to lift it if I didn't want to take it from the side so I could lift it from here. And finally, the last page that I've made at the moment. So as you can see, I've added different elements in again. These are little collage bits left over from um, the pages, as I said before. And we've got the stenciling going on very, very lightly in the background. And this is the back part here. And this now could be anything you wanted it to be. Um, I could, I've, I've stuck down different elements on there, but if I'd left this come forward, I could have had another pocket or I can put a photograph. Um, I, you know, I could make it a little notice board. So I've left it quite blank for that reason. So now if I turn this round, you can see this is the opposite side of the pages that I was just showing you. But when they sit like this, the pocket is hidden. So that's a bit like my secret pocket. So whilst it's sitting on my desk this way round, people don't know there's a pocket there. I mean, side view, you can see that there's something happening. But this way round, it isn't. So it's like a little secret pocket. So again, the, the reverse side of the pages are um, done exactly the same way. So they can then go round. Again, I've taken different elements and using it so that it can flip over and like the front pocket I've taken some of these little elements I've cut them out and created just another little secret place to put things um, tickets photos whatever you want and then we've got the pocket area here and I've just created a pocket I've used up leftover bits of the backing paper um, and then just brought in you get so many fussy cutting elements. You could just decorate to your heart's content. It's knowing when to stop, to be quite truthful. And I've used the same cards and I've created some cards to go within the um, the pocket itself. So let me just... So I've used the, the cards that I d um, had before and I've just elongated them by um, adding all the different elements. And on the back, I've just left it with the same paper um, that I've used on so they could be written on or this is a visual clue to put a photograph so I've got three of those going in there so they're going to sit inside my pocket um, and because we've got I love that they've got the like suspect list it's top secret confidential I think that looks just cool so we'll put them in there now 
I've done my wires in two different ways, um, in one particular way. Now, the wires I've actually got on the outside here, and this is so I can actually pull the wires apart and add more pages. If I had done it the way which should be, so this, you know, this outside edge should be covered, that would have been on the inside. And that would have made it a little bit trickier for me to keep adding uh, little pages if I wanted to do. But I'll speak a bit more again about pages because I had another plan. Now, inside here, I've made a pocket. And the pocket sits inside there, as you can see. It goes the whole length of the box. Um, and I've put little notebooks in here. And I've got little dossier wallets. And these little notebooks and dossier wallets also match in with my bureau. So the bureau I previously made, I've made some more of these. And they then, the two items, mix and match together. So if I was giving them as a gift, everything coordinates um, as an unusual way to do your memory books. Now, talking about the wires, and I was saying that I could pull them apart to put new pages. If you don't want to do that and you want to hire all the um, hide all the wire mechanism what I have done is I've created my pages but if I, I'm going to try and take it off without tearing it I've actually done them so that the pages will come away and I can put them back on again so just push that bit down so now my pages I've snipped away so they can be taken on and off so that is a way around of doing them when you're creating your pages make a little mark within the notches and then you can then put them back in and I just find if I squeeze the wires together the pages go back and forth so if you want to hide all the wires and you can actually do that and then do that with your pages so you can keep adding you can then take them off to work on them so that's my little my little uh, desk drawer desk tidy and it can be used in so many ways, whether it's functional, whether it's a way of having all your photographs, um, a memory of a trip, but lots of different ways to use it. Thank you ever so much for your time. And I look forward to sharing another project with you really, really soon. Thank you. Bye bye.